Hey, I'm Rob Witcher, and I'm here to help you pass the CISSP exam by teaching you how to correctly read and understand CISSP questions and pick the best answer. Here is today's question. Which of the following is the most secure method for input validation? To help us understand this question and be able to identify the best answer, we need to simplify the question and identify the keywords. The keywords are secure input validation. A simple question. As usual, before we look at the answer, let's think about what the perfect answer would be to the question. The best method for secure input validation. That's what we have to find the answer for. Let's start by first looking at what is input validation. Input validation is the idea that we should never ever trust input from users. The input, the data that users provide could be corrupt in some way or intentionally malicious. Either way, corrupt or malicious data could harm the system in some way, causing data integrity issues, performance issues, or perhaps exposure of sensitive data. The lack of input validation is what leads to incredibly common attacks such as cross-site scripting, SQL injection, and buffer overflows. Hence the statement right here, the root of all evil is inadequate data validation. If our system just takes any arbitrary user input and does not validate that input in some way, you're going to have a bad day. Our system must always validate user input. The most secure way is typically to only allow specific characters and to perform this validation on the server. Therefore, the perfect answer that we're looking for here to the question is, what's the best method for secure input validation? Only allow specific characters and performing this validation server side. Okay, so let's now look at the answers and go through and find the best answer. Aha, <laughs> answer B here. Seems like the perfect answer. Server side allow list of characters. Before we pat ourselves on the back and uh, you know, move on to the next question, let's make sure that this is the best answer. We essentially have a two by two decision matrix here, right? We have to decide if client side or server side validation is better and whether to use allow lists or deny lists, which are more secure. So let's look at these options. Client side validation means that the user's input is checked, is validated on the user's system. A great example of this is when you are paying for something on a website. As part of filling in all the fields, like your name and email address and credit card number, etc., the JavaScript code on the web page running in your browser is checking to see if it's a valid email address and a valid credit card number. The advantage of client-side validation is it provides a good user experience. It's basically instant feedback on whether the data is correct before hitting the Submit Payment button. The major downside, though, of client-side validation is that it is trivially easy to bypass. An attacker, for instance, could just send malicious input directly to the server, completely bypassing the client-side validation. In summary, client-side validation is good for user experience, but basically useless from a security perspective. Server-side validation means the server is validating the input it receives from the user. This is much more secure. The server is validating the data before doing anything like passing it on to the database. So server-side validation is much more secure. Okay, so now what's the difference between allow lists and deny lists? An allow list means only specific characters will be permitted and all other characters will be blocked. So for example, you might allow lowercase letters A through Z, numbers and the hash symbol. If a user submitted any other character like an uppercase letter or a dollar sign, it would be blocked. Denialists are the inverse of this. Only specific characters are blocked or removed and all other characters are allowed. For example, you might block the characters, open bracket, uppercase script, close bracket, right? You might deny these characters if you're trying to block, say, a cross-site scripting attack using JavaScript. But this block would be really easy to bypass just by using, say, lowercase letters for script. And this is why deny lists are less secure. It is impossible to imagine all the different things you should block for all the various types of creative attacks out there. It's much more secure to just allow a select few characters and block everything else. So an allow list is more secure. A quick comment on terminology here. The industry is moving towards this terminology of allow lists and deny lists. Historically, the terminology used here was whitelists and blacklists, 
A whitelist is the equivalent of an allow list and a blacklist is the equivalent of a deny list. I strongly support using the terms allow lists and deny list. The reason I bring this up is that the exam might still use the terms whitelists and blacklists. Uh, so I just wanted to highlight that for you. Okay, so bringing this back to the question. The most secure form of input validation is server-side allow list. And that is answer B. Server-side allow list of specific characters. Only allowing a specific set of characters and performing this validation on the server. That is the best answer. If you're watching this video, you're more than likely preparing for the CISSP exam. My partner in crime, John Birdie, myself, and our team have been helping people just like you prepare to confidently pass the CISP exam for over 20 years. We love guiding folks to become better security professionals and achieve the coveted and well-respected CISSP certification along the way. We've trained thousands of folks at our major corporate clients, and we're now opening our training up to everyone. If you're interested in finding out more about our CISSP masterclass, then check us out here at destinationciissp.com. If you found this video helpful, you can hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to be notified when we release additional videos in this question and answer series, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications. Thanks very much for watching and all the best in your studies.